Hello. I have a problem with my headphones. Actually, I don't. They're pretty great. They're noise canceling and they also are Bluetooth so I can play music or something, podcasts from my phone, and they are powered from batteries, which leads to the start of my problem. Right now I'm storing them over on this wall when they're not in use and the nearest outlet is down over here on the floor. And the other side of the shop, which you've seen in my workshop walls video, has outlets that are up here. I don't have any benches or anything yet. So when the batteries run low, I am either forced to put a table somewhere and charge them over there, put them on the floor and charge them here, or run some sort of cord up to charge them here. It would be nice to charge them where they're stored. Here's what I'm thinking. The spot that I have now holds my headphones, pair of safety glasses, a mask. I would like to have a place just for my headphones. What I'm thinking is, I feel like I'm on a cooking show. What I'm thinking is I will use some foam. I got a couple pieces that are like two inches thick. I will cut out a spot for the headphones that this can go inside of, and then put this on the wall that I'll show you in a second. This wall doesn't have anything going on other than this poop stack in the way. I figured I could probably put this somewhere maybe in here. I'm planning on putting maybe some plywood or something over this and then the foam on top. Before I go about doing that though, I want to actually upgrade the electronics on this a little bit. So let me show you what I'm talking about. As I mentioned earlier, right now I have to plug my headphones in at the bottom every time I want them to be charged. I thought it might be cool to have them wirelessly charge every time I put them back into their case. In order to do that, I need to make some modifications to my headphones. Basically, what I'm going to be using is a principle called electromagnetic induction, which is the same technology that your phone uses to wirelessly charge. So I purchased a couple parts off of Amazon that will allow me to do that. Let me demonstrate. So here are the parts. Essentially, you've got power in and power out. It's pretty simple. For this, I'm going to be using my handy five volt input that I can just plug into directly and that will give me two alligator clips to be able to use. And simply just red to red, black to black, it'll be positive and negative. And I will use my trusty tester LED. And as you can see on this device, there's no power running to it or anything. So what I can do is connect black to black as the negatives and the red to red for the positives. So now what this should do is when these two come into contact wirelessly, the LED lights up and the closer they get, the more intense it gets because that's providing more power. So maybe you can see where I'm going with this, where I can have this mounted on the side of the headphones and get this wired into this part. And then this part can sit in the foam. And so when I put my headphones in, this can be charging. That way I don't have to plug anything in ever. Now that that's soldered together, I put the jack in the headphones and we will see what happens. Oh, there we go. It is charging. What I might try my hand at is using some epoxy to fasten this to the side. So what I need to do first is I'm going to hot glue gun everything in place before I go pouring in the epoxy. Okay, my prep work before pouring the epoxy is done. I took some thin foam core board and cut out different pieces and shapes that could essentially function as a, a little box to basically contain the epoxy as I pour it. I attached the pieces with hot glue at any of the seams. This isn't going to come out the greatest, I'm pretty sure, uh, but I don't really care 
so much as getting this bit of electronics surrounded by epoxy. It's more of a functional thing than anything. So I'm gonna let this hot glue dry for a little bit and then come back and uh, fill in this area with some epoxy. Okay, I'm ready to give this epoxy thing a try. I have the epoxy here. It's two parts that you're supposed to mix together in equal quantities. I'll put a link to this in the description below. I also have some dye. I'll put a link to this in the description below as well. I'm going to try using black. That way it'll blend in and hopefully look a little bit nicer that way. If I mess up, let me know in the comments below what color you would choose if you're doing something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Here we go. After a scientific eyeball check, this should be even. Well, I already learned a few lessons. I have some of the epoxy leaking out through some of the seams and the cracks. Uh, it's not quite turning out black. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. You can see I got some uh, on the sides where I didn't want. There's definitely a lot of bubbling up in here, but we will see what it ends up looking like. I also poured way too much. It was unfortunate that I wasted that, but I learned something. This is also getting really hot too. I'm going to go ahead and try to remove the foam here. You can tell it's still a little tacky, so I'm going to let it sit overnight and clean it up a bit more tomorrow. My epoxy job didn't come out the greatest. There's uh, some bubbles and deformities, and I'd say it's a day and a half later and it's still fairly tacky, but I think I just did not a great job. If anybody has any tips or anything to help out on that, let me know in the comments below. Another thing I kind of messed up on that I didn't think about until too late was the fact that I ended up covering up the indicator light for when it's charging. So not only did I cover up the port for charging, but I covered up the light. So I don't necessarily know when this is charging other than I kind of lucked out and if I actually turn the headphones on and start charging it, it automatically turns the headphones off, which is kind of a nice feature if I forget I left these on and I put these away. Anyway, while this is still curing, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the foam and the wall. So this foam is two inches thick. Uh, I've got two of them, bought it on Amazon, put a link to it below. There's probably, I don't know, I think they're half inch laminated layers that in theory you can peel back. If anybody has any experience with this, let me know some good tips in the comments below. What I need to do is cut out the whole outline of the headphones on the top layer. And then on the bottom layer, I probably only need the things that protrude a little bit. So that would be the headphone ears. Let's get started. Perfect. And they fit pretty well. As you can see, they still stick up a little bit. So that's where the second guy will come in handy. I'm just going to cut a little bit for the ear pieces until this becomes more flush. I ended up cutting out these notches on the side of the ear pieces 
What that allows is a little bit of a space for me to be able to grab these to pull them out. On this side, this notch is going to be purpose for putting the transmitter part of the electronics. I think I'm gonna 3D print something that will fit in here. That way it can be adjusted a little bit better. I will, however, need to drill a hole so that the wiring can come up through the back. All of the work on the foam is done, but I actually want these two pieces to be joined together a little bit better. So I'm going to use some 3M spray, multi-purpose adhesive. Spray between the two layers and uh, They'll stick together. I have a big piece of scrap wood that is about a half inch thick that I'm gonna put in that uh, wall cavity area. And then I have some other scrap pieces I kind of cut down, going to glue and tack with nails these pieces uh, into the side of this. And then the whole thing is gonna get screwed onto the wall. I ran into a little bit of an issue when trying to 3D print uh, an enclosure for the transmitter area, and I have to order a new part for my 3D printer. So rather than sit around and wait to finish this project till then, I'm going to go ahead and finish it now in some capacity. Just have to plug it in and test it out. Power on. Power on. So there we go. Despite uh, the couple challenges I ran into, I think it turned out pretty nice actually. I no longer have to keep plugging this in every time I need to charge it. Eventually, I'm going to put a more permanent solution in here. I'd also like to paint the headphones black so this is a little bit more uniform. I hope this inspired you for something that you could do similar to this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Check out the description box below, all the usual stuff, and I'll see you next time.